Good morning, YouTubers. Happy Sunday. Sunday fun day. So we just left our house. We got up this morning at 11 o'clock. Typically on Sundays, I like to sleep in. And when I got up this morning, all I did was wash my face, um, brush my teeth, and just get ready. I cleaned up the house a little bit before I left the house, so now we're here. Uh, we gotta pump our air tires first before leaving. Um, I live in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and there's not much to do here. Um, so it's a beautiful sunny day. As you can see, the sun is shining on me and I'm like wearing bright green. Uh, we are heading to Virginia. So our day is going to be a little adventurous. Uh, we have gone to Virginia many times before. So I'll just show you what I typically do or like to do on a very fun Sunday. Um, usually I go to Dunkin Donut and I would get my coffee, but I'm just going to, um, I bought my own coffee today. So we're just, we'll stop by Dunkin just to grab like an omelet or something or a breakfast wrap before we head out on to Virginia on our road, on the road. Now, how far is Virginia from Pennsylvania, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where we're at? Virginia is about two and a half hours away. So just driving there will make us hungry. I mean, we're about foodie, it's a foodie trip. I mean, if you have a significant other, I'm sure you go on foodie trips and this is one of the foodie trips we usually go on. We, we live right smack in the middle between Philly and Virginia so Philly has good food too and it's also two and a half hours away so for a Sunday funding we usually decide whether we're going to Philly first or go to Virginia so today we are going to Virginia um, yeah so stay tuned and see how the day will go um, what I'll be eating I'll share everything with you the locations and if you ever happen to come to Pennsylvania in Harrisburg you can hit me up I'm just kidding uh, at least you know that you're right in between Philly and Virginia and where you can actually go for good food you know so we are going to Dunkin Donut after this so we're here at Dunkin Donut and I'm just outside waiting for food um, he'll be back with my breakfast wrap. Yay! Thank you, honey. Yep. So, I just got my breakfast. And it's just cheese and eggs. There's no sausage in here. Just plain. Just plain. Egg and cheese. Egg and cheese. This is what I like. Now, this is really small. <laughs> <laughs> this is really small because we're going to eat a lot when we get to eat in and if you're thinking wow they're traveling two hours or two hours and a half for food why well stay tuned because you're about to see a lot of good food and we're just eating an omelet an egg and cheese omelet here because we're ready for a lot and a lot of good seafood well, I'm a seafood eater, so if you love seafood or you just simply love food, stay tuned. Also, the beginning of our trip starts now, and I'll show you some of how, like if you live in California, I'll show you how the highway looks like on the East Coast. If you've always thought about moving to the East Coast, well, at least you can see how the weather is looking in January. Um, it feels very nice today. Yeah, it is. Actually, for it to be winter. 61 degrees. It's 61 degrees, and last night it was like 70 degrees. So, global warming is real. <laughs> uh, it never got this hot in um, January. 
never since I've been here. It's nice. But oh, it's God. nice for us because I love the warm weather. I'm just a little worried that it's actually this warm. And I love to add ketchup to my breakfast wrap. It's so good. It literally can add anything with ketchup. Oh, but what I mean nice, you see all these bikers here? So, I just checked my GPS to correct what I said earlier that Virginia is two and a half hours away. It's actually only two hours. And Philadelphia is about an hour and a half away. So, Virginia is a little further down. Uh, right now, it's 225. So, we will be there around 420. And we're still on the road.
restaurant that we want to eat and we're turning in. <laughs> So we are heading in there right now and it feels beautiful. The weather is amazing. There's kids around. We're gonna head inside. Yummy. That's the restaurant. stuff on here when we come here we usually get the get your feet wet that comes with one pound of crawfish one pound of shrimp a dozen of sausages two corns and two potatoes so that's what we might get um, two bags of that or we might get the drool just one bag of it to share because it comes with um, your choice of a regular or Cajun calamari. So I think if you get everything above and then you get the half pound of crab legs and your choice of an appetizer, this deal sounds great. Um, no, not yet. Yeah. Uh, we were looking between getting your feet wet or the drew. What would you recommend? Um, I usually would recommend the drew. The drew? Oh, okay. So in this one, you just don't get the snow crab legs? Yeah, you don't get the snow crab legs or the Okay. Well, we actually just, we're actually going to just get the um, two order of this. Yeah, sounds good to us. Mm -hmm. that, that's fine. Yes, do you want snow crab legs too or I don't know, whatever. Yay! On the first, get your feet wet with seasoning and spicy Uh, For the seasoning, I'll get your hot and juicy seasoning. I'll get, um, does it get really spicy? Yeah, it's pretty hot. It's my supper. Should I get spicy or medium? Who gets spicy? I'll get medium. Okay. One spicy, one medium. Yeah. And uh, can I get a, a, a spicy um, sauce on the side too? Sure. You want just uh, the, the one spicy or the spicy on the side? Um, just like extra spicy then. Well, no, just spicy on the side. Yeah. Okay. You want the same flavor that I'm using? Yeah. yeah. Do you want any crab legs or no? How much is for a pound of crab legs? Crab legs $28 a pound. 
No, that's okay. Yeah, that's a lot of good That's a lot of good food. And I'm here to do with the hot juicy. Yeah, also. Hot juicy as well. Okay. Anything else for you? That's all. Oh, so, okay. um, one more thing. Uh, on the kitchen view, they do have an option of whether you want the head on or head off and stuff. Can I get, they're both the same price or? Yeah, the head off is $2 more, but it is, uh, you do get more shrimp on that. Well, both heads on for both us. With the head on? Yeah. Okay. And um, I was gonna ask, uh, is there corn and sausages in here? Or? Yeah, it comes with a dozen sausages, two corn, two potatoes. Okay, sounds good. Thank so you. I'm gonna get your pea wet, hot juicy spicy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get your pea wet, hot juicy medium, and then extra sauce on the side, hot juicy spicy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we're at our favorite hot juicy spot on Falls Church in Virginia and right now I'm just putting on my hot juicy apron so I can be ready to grab. There's two locations of hot and juicy here. There's one in Washington. We are at the Falls Church uh, in Virginia. That's the location that we're at right now. So as you can see that was our ordering experience. They'll ask you what kind of spice level you want kind of sauce you want and I obviously wanted the hot and juicy sauce and I usually get the spicy because I eat spicier. He ordered the medium. The spice level here can get really high so if you order spicy you might not be able to eat it. Make sure you order medium and spicy and if you like to go spicier you can order that next time. Uh, I can't wait for our food to come out, but really check out this location. So I just got my Get Your Feet Wet and there's shrimp, crawfish, and sausage and corn in here. I'm going to start eating it.
shopping here there's Eden buy some bubble tea buy stuff to bring home a lot of driving for just this I know but you know what it's worth it because we don't have hot and juicy anywhere else in where we live and it's Sunday we're free so why not travel for food they have a Cajun boil and thaw here too and yeah that's a special beef love for $6.95 here pretty good hustling yay we found a parking we're about to pull in So basically what's at Eden, there's supermarkets, there's place to get bubble tea, there's restaurants all over the place. And I have to say there's a couple that's my favorite. I'll show you in a bit. <laughs> Dessert. It's going to get that one for us. 
That's called um, some kind of fruit dessert called Jab Thai. And here's the description. There's Logan, Tom, C, Jab Creek, Jelly. It's only $3 to eat. Getting the number 17, so ring, the ring, which means movie, for 75. No bubbles. So it comes with bubbles too, but I don't want bubbles. Have that. Like those are the buns, and then these are the rolls for the pizza. And one that. Okay. That's egg roll, and then you got the fish pancake. Yeah. That's the fish pancake right there. You can eat it with rice. It's really good. Just cut them out and eat it with rice. Half of Just one half. Hold on. One. You have lemon, you have uh, orange, apple, ice jelly, chia seed, and lime to make this um, KL for tea. Let me try it. It tastes like lemonade, but with a kick. Like, it's not the regular lemon. You can taste the chia seed and the orange in it with some apple. But it's a very different kind of tea. With, like, it's really a tea that's worth a twist. And it's sweet. I got regular sweet. I didn't get like any extra pump of uh, sugar. I had the I get I got the regular one. So it's regular uh, sweet with no extra sugar pump. I think it's pretty good. I like it. But I still miss my bubble tea this time. I'll get it next time. I always go with between fruit tea or bubble tea. So. I like their fruit tea. You can see the lemon in here with the chia seed. So we're still at Eden Center. Uh, we got done shopping, grocery shopping. We went and bought some um, Jaya Vimy's dessert. We got this for free. The soy milk, the green uh, soy milk for free. Um, we went and bought some mangoes from the lady on the street. She know how to jump around, so. Um, and then we stopped in here to get some bubble tea or fruit tea. I decided to get fruit tea today. And every time we come to Eden, we would eat. Sometimes we eat at rice paper. <laughs> Sometimes we eat at rice paper. 
But tonight we already ate at Hot and Juicy Carl's there, so we decided to wrap it up and just come here and grocery shopping. So it's pretty nice here. I mean, the weather is great. I'm not even in a huge coat, but a light sweater, and I'm not even cold. And I'm easily cold. Um, people are very nice here. They think I'm taking a picture, but I'm actually videoing. And the lady that, that sold the mango to us, you want to know her joke? She asked him, my husband, that, is he married to me? Yes. And she said, well, in the future, that's going to cost you half your wealth. You got to share your wealth. You know, older people, they joke, but she don't mean any harm. She just likes to make fun jokes. And you know what? Be careful when you go to Eden. You might get ripped, up by, ripped off by some nice old lady selling you fruit. This is literally ten dollars. I, I don't get fruit anywhere that's like ten dollars for this. Mango. You know what he should have done? You have to deal with them. Say, I'll buy it for seven dollars. Don't settle for ten. That's too expensive. But we're nice to her today. Anyway, we're gonna wrap it up here. And it's January the twelfth on Sunday. I wish you guys a great week ahead and a relaxing, and I hope that you guys had a relaxing weekend. Enjoy your work week, and I will be back next Friday. Mwah.